how's it going? I'm Greg and welcome to another episode of Freezer Burns. Today we're going to review this. Totino's Crisp Crust Party Pizza, the Supreme Flavor. And we got a lot of credentials going on here and I just got to make sure that it's legit. First off, Totino's is saying it's America's best-selling frozen pizza. That's a tall order to fill. Also, we got this thing right there. See that? Quality Assured by Totino's themselves. Uh, Totino's has been around a long time. They're mostly famous for the pizza roll, which is legendary. And don't, don't worry, we'll be reviewing that later. But uh, in terms of the party pizza, supreme flavor, I want to see what's going on with this. What do you say we pop this in the oven, see whether it's legit or not? Okay, let's go. Okay, first things first. Um, as you can see here, uh, where does it say that? Do not microwave. As much as microwaves are good, uh, this one we got to put in the old-fashioned oven. So we're going to preheat the oven to 450. So that's going to go on. We're going to turn on that oven light, and let's uh, let's start preparing the pizza, shall we? All right, so uh, let's get ready to take this out of the box. First things first, Totino's Crisp Crust Party Pizza. To be honest, it's maybe eight inches wide, eight inches in diameter. It's a pretty small party, if you ask me. Um, the flavor, supreme. We got a lot of meat going on here. Sausage and pizza topping with pepperoni seasoning with green peppers and onions. And just for clarification, sausage is made with pork and chicken and the pizza topping with pepperoni seasoning made with pork, chicken, and beef. Now one thing to consider, this is not pepperoni. If it was pepperoni, it'd say it was pepperoni. Instead, it's pizza topping with pepperoni seasoning. Uh, so that's a, that's a good distinction. Now, as usual, cook thoroughly, we gotta do that. But here's the thing I wanna show, is this pizza looks pretty decent. See that, is that in focus? See that crust, those thin layers of crust? That's nice. You got toppings all the way to the edge. These pieces are ginormous, these chunks here. Now, if we were to extrapolate that down to 8% to 8 inches, uh, I don't know. We're going to have to see kind of whether these toppings uh, really live up to what this picture says. So, uh, on the back, you know, Totino's, they're doing a lot to really talk about how they're you know, been around for a long time. To be perfectly honest, when it comes to frozen pizza, you know, pizza rolls aside, um, Totino's, let's just say if frozen pizzas were the godfather, uh, they wouldn't be the Corleone family, right? The Giornos, they're the ones that are kind of running things. These are more like the Tatalias, you know, they go around, they, they do the same stuff, they have the same tools. Uh, but in the end, they're just not as good quality. I don't know, that's just my, my personal opinion. Obviously, tons of ingredients here, right? Stuff that you probably don't even want to know that they have. Oleo resin of paprika. I, I have no idea what that means. It does contain wheat, milk, and soy grains. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. All right, let's open this up. Because we got a lot of time for this oven to preheat. I got my trusty pan here. Opening this up. Okay. See that? It's good. Now, here's what I like about frozen pizzas, like this. They're all evenly spaced, the toppings. That's pretty good. Uh, sometimes you open up frozen pizzas and it's like everything is down on one side, and uh, that's not so good. So I'm gonna um, open this plastic bag, stick it here on the plate. Okay, right away I'm smelling that sausage. Really, really good sausage smell. And then, you see that, see? Toppings are pretty evenly spaced. You see a lot of green, you see a lot of that fake pepperoni going on there. Toppings all the way to the edge, that's always good. I'm gonna stick that on the pan right here. And then, uh, once that finishes preheating, we're gonna drop that in the oven. Okay, so we're finally up at 450. Um, you know, if you're in a hurry, you're not going to want a pizza like this. You're going to want to go a little more ghetto. You're going to want like Mr. P's or 
Elios, or actually Elios, I think, is even a little more legit than Mr. P's. Um, but if you want a crispy crust, you need to go with an oven, okay? Microwaves just won't cut it. Now, it says here 14 to 16 minutes, but with these directions, you're supposed to put the pizza right on the middle oven rack. I personally don't like that. I do like crisper crust, but uh, especially where you have toppings so close to the edge, I just don't like stuff dripping down below. If I don't have to clean the oven, uh, I'm better off for it. So it does say that for a slightly softer crust, make as directed, and that means put it on a baking sheet like I did, but bake it for 17 to 19 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. So again, I have this pizza. Looks really good. A lot packed with toppings. It's not that big. You know, here's the size of my hand, and I don't have like Yeti size hands. Right? Here's the size of my hand. Uh, I love that the toppings are on the edge. It smells really good. Let's put that in the oven. I'm gonna set that timer for 17 minutes. And uh, see what happens. Okay, so we're coming up on five minutes left to go, and man, this pizza smells delicious. Um, you could start to see right around here, it's starting to sizzle a little bit, which is nice. Um, it's getting a nice golden brown on top of the sausage. It's, um, it really, really smells good. My stomach is growling. All right, so the timer's done. Uh, it's been in there for 17 minutes. It's about the time to take the pizza out. It is, I cannot express to you how awesome it smells right now. Maybe it's because I'm hungry, but uh, it smells pretty legit. Let's take it out of the oven. So as you can see, cheese is nicely melted. The meat is good, it still maintains its color nice toppings all the way around. Um, I can't wait to devour this. Um, I gotta go get a plate and a knife. Alright, so I've cut myself a piece. There you go. What I want to do is pick this up with a fork just to show you. Look at that. That is some good pizza right there. It smells delicious. Uh, let's see how it tastes. Oh my. That's some good pizza. Good spices. The cheese is good. You got a nice, like, two cheese blend. The sausage is great. Not too spicy. Not too salty. The crust is just right. Oh man. Let's see. Another piece of this. You got a nice crust. Nice burnt crust on the sides. Some spices there. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. That's some damn good pizza. Mmm. Mm. All right, so to recap, Totino's Crisp Crust Party Pizza. I tried the Supreme size, or Supreme flavor. I, honestly, I, I don't need another flavor. This is where it's at. It's good pizza. It's basically, you know, it says it's uh, serving for two. Again, it's serving for one. Flavors are unbelievable. Great mixture, not too spicy, not too sweet. I love that the toppings go all the way to the end. It takes a little long to cook, but honestly, um, it's worth the wait. Um, like I said, stay away from ghetto microwave pizzas. It's worth the wait to put it in the oven for a crisper crust. Um, love the cheese blend, love the sausage, love the fake pepperoni. Totino's, it's, it's where it's at. It's more than just pizza rolls. Uh, this is Greg. This is Freezer Burns, episode two, and I'll see you next time.